you very much. I'm going to get some gelato. And there we have it, it's the final day in Italy. I thought I'd quickly show you the view from my balcony. It's pretty cool, but doesn't get the view of the Colosseum, which, eh, oh well. So, I'm gonna check out for my hotel now, and then head on out, have a little bit of a walk, and then try and find somewhere to have my final meal. checked out I'm ready to go and get some lunch before I head over to the airport it's gonna be another long day moving from Piazza Venezia you can see the altar of the fatherland in shot there and in order to cross the street you really have to force your way through I made my way to this piazza where there's a local market that runs pretty much every day where they have a lot of local produce cheeses a lot of different foods too but it was the restaurant that I was here for called Osteria de Fortunata. That's the old location. This is the new one right across the street to cope with the surging demand for their pasta. Because I was the second person in line, I was sat relatively quickly and given the menu. The menu is an incredibly stripped back menu that has some antipasti, some second courses, but it's the pasta that everyone's here for. And they make all of it in house. And this lady kindly let me film her make and weigh all of the individual portions that are eventually served to customers. I of course had to order the carbonara and it's served in this lovely themed dish for the restaurant. Now, first bite, I was in love. I was absolutely in love. The pasta was lovely and thick, perfectly cooked, and the sauce, beautiful. The guanciale pieces were also lovely and crisp. Look at it. Beautifully salty and tender on the inside. Now here I am mopping up as much sauce as I can because that stuff is like liquid gold. But soon enough I was on to the last bite and man oh man do I wish I was there right now. That was seriously good. The pasta was just so well made. It was actually better that it was slightly smaller as well to make it a bit more manageable. And I have to say, the sauce, the guanciale, as the dish, it was probably better than Luciano's. So definitely go there. It was also good because the restaurant was starting to really pack out as I was leaving. So I definitely got there at a good time. Now I finally have room for dessert. So I'm going to get some gelato. Train station, there was a venture shop. Now Venti are very well known for their chocolates, but they also have a lot of different gelato for sale. I got a cup with three different flavours and then ran straight for the train. But look at that ice cream glisten, I'm so glad I got it. This is the first flavour, which was tiramisu. It had a delightful coffee flavour and those chocolate shards in it made it so beautiful in texture. The second one, this one, was ricotta and candied orange. And surprisingly, it was actually very, very nice as you can see from my face there. Now, underneath all of that was the third flavour, which was nougatine. It was a combination of chocolate and hazelnut, and it was by far my favourite. But boy, oh boy, am I so glad that I finally managed to get my gelato. Thumbs up all round. After making it to the airport, I ran straight from my plane because I was running late. But yeah, this was a delightful trip, and all I can say is, Italy, I love you very much, but I have to go home now. And we've arrived home. Blimey, that was a long journey. But the important thing is I'm now home with Marty. Who's a good boy. How are you feeling today? Good. Just pop him down. So just to wrap things up, I think that was a very successful week for me and my recovery. I think I've made a giant leap forwards in that I stopped counting calories for a whole week and I hope to carry that trend onwards. I'm going to continue doing challenges. Anything that I see as a potential roadblock in my recovery, I'm going to make sure that I challenge and I'm going to make sure that I beat it. Now to round off things tonight, I've actually got a little thing here. So just before I got the train to the airport, I made sure to visit the sandwich shop again once more uh, to try a different flavour. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, ma'am. So, in this bag here, we've got a lovely sandwich all the way from Rome in Italy. Again, as big as my head. I opted for the summer, which is basically the Italian flag. 
And if you can see here, you've got another beautiful looking sandwich here. So you've got the prosciutto ham, you've got the tomato, and buried underneath there, you've got mozzarella cheese. I mean, this thing is weighty, but I'm so looking forward to chowing down tonight. Thanks for coming along with me. And for now, ciao. Warm it up. Wow.